If you could do the effort, why not own it? Right. So they make you believe that you know that you need them, that you need a boss, that you need to work for them. You don't need to own this. You need to pay right. their kids' bills instead of your own. The reason why people take jobs is because they got to pay their bills. You're the boss in your apartment, right? No matter what, no matter how little it is, if it's a, whether it's a big house or a little house, that space right there, you're the boss. Right. That's what your business is. That's what your life is. You create right. the space so you can control it. You control your environment, but you have to architect that. You want to live in a house, build it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's going to give it to you. But once right. you get in that house, I don't care if the president or whoever it is, anywhere, he walk in my house, Obama, you, you still got to listen to me in this house. People think it's safe to have a job, but if somebody can fire you, how is that safe? Right. Period. Like, you got to be nice to somebody. If they don't like you, they can fire you. And if they, the people that can fire you don't be owning this shit neither. Right. They be supervisors. Right. So then it becomes like political. There's no politics when you're the boss. It's my Facts. way or no way. Do it for yourself. Right. If you're a paid editor, edit your own movie. You're a paid writer, write it your own motherfucking magazine. You know, it's like the thing is nobody right. ever gave me anything. No one gave me real no record deal. I had to do it myself. Right. So imagine if I would have waited for a deal for Jay-Z. There'd be no Jay-Z. There'd be no Kanye. There'd be no Lee Daniels. There'd be no Kevin Hart. There'd be Facts. no Rachel Roy. Right. None of that. Do you know what I'm saying? Right. None of them. Any, I had to build all that. Like, no one's going to hire me to direct. You know what I mean? No one's going to hire me to be the CEO of a company. I made the company. I'm the CEO of it. Period. That's that. Like content is like currency. It's the thing that makes money forever and ever. It's, a, it's, like, it's like when somebody smokes a joint, the weed is gone. You got to grow more weed. When somebody looks at something, you can pay over and over again to see it and you ain't got to keep making it. I just look at what people pay for and do it myself. I'm the plug. I'm never a customer. Do it yourself and leverage your own celebrity. Right. So instead of letting somebody else make it, we make it. And then we don't have to pay for the marketing. It's easy. So right. now that I'm a brand for doing that, I can now completely invest in myself. But there's two games. One yeah. is making good work, and one is leveraging celebrity. Right. The good work, you ain't got to move. Good work, they find you. You ain't even got to promote your destination. Mm -hmm. When you ain't doing shit too good, that's when there's the overcompensation. You start right. hitting red carpets every day and doing other shit to distract the fact that you have no talent. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to find out what you love and then work harder than everyone else to be good at it because it shouldn't feel like work if you really love it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like time, you don't even feel time when you're doing something you enjoy. But when you're do doing something you hate, the shit moves crazy slow. I've never seen anybody put in 100% and lose. I've never seen right. that. I've seen people that have the potential, but I, I see a lot of like, people that may be untalented but have the work ethic, they win. Right. I see people that are very talented with no work ethic, ethic they lose and just be entitled and judgmental. It's also about education and knowledge. Knowledge is what got me here today because I grew up in poverty. I didn't have anything. I educated myself in the build of generational wealth. You have to educate your family, your kids. So growing up in poverty, I never had nothing. And people think you need a lot of money to be an entrepreneur. I mean, as a kid, I used to carry groceries for the elderly. I used to cut grass. Uh, I did whatever it take to, I wanted to help my family. And so I think when you want to make it out of environment, you know that it's not the best situation. For me, it was poverty. It was hunger. So being hungry took me to my dreams and my destination of being an entrepreneur. One of my jobs, I worked at Bell South Mobility. I used to sell phones. That's where I got the hookup came from. I never made no money because they paid me on commission. I'm like, when I'm going to get paid? They say, you don't get paid till you sell some phones. And I'm like, I thought I was selling a service. I was going to different people. And then that hunger drove me. So you have to know, get that information, that knowledge. Even though you have a job, I'm working on commission. I am think I'm doing good, but I'm, I'm making no money. So I think that hunger drove me. And then with me not making no money, it made me understand that knowledge is more important than money. I had to educate myself because I wasn't educated. I wasn't educated to the job that I had and I was going to lose. People don't realize when you have a million dollar you know mindset you have to turn down money it's not about the money you can't work for the money the first deal i got they offered me a million dollars and i had to realize what my value was so my value was more i thought back in the 90s if i take this record deal and they give me a million dollars how much am i worth never do any kind of business when you're desperate because you're only working for a check think about it you do anything for a check Fatherhood really changed my life because 
I was on the streets. I was into all kinds of things. And when I had you, you made me want to change. So people don't realize it might be somebody in your life or whatever, a relative, your kid. But for me, fatherhood changed my life. It made me realize I had to be responsible. I wanted to be here. I wanted to see you go to college. That was my main thing. When I was living in the ghetto in New Orleans, I said, I want to see this kid grow up and go to college. I didn't care about you doing music, doing the rest of stuff. I just said, I wanted to see you go to college. And I think that really changed my life. Generational wealth is probably the hardest thing to keep up with. Because most people know how to get money, but they don't know how to hold on to it. Uh, even if you fall off, some people fall on Some of them, the biggest billionaires that I know, they lost millions and they had to start over. So f knowing that it's not an L is a lesson. And when you it's fall down, L, you got to get back up. And people, people are afraid of that because people that look like us, soon as something happened negative, we laugh at each other. A lot of those other cultures, they lose business, they fall off. But somebody that'll help them up or somebody realize that this person is a hustler and they, they there for them or, or they figured out on their own. A lot of guys that I know through this journey, they had fell off the horse and got back on. But we don't do that. We laugh at each other. Soon as one of us lose something is, is in the tabloids, is on the news. But we don't talk about, OK, that person got back up. He's doing well. That's how life is. I think God put you through certain struggles and pains so you could get to, to the path. Applied knowledge. You have to have knowledge, but you have to take action. And that's what I looked at by you going to college. I said, oh yeah, learning is fun. You have to learn to love. Learn that lesson that you feel like, that you realize in life that, man, I love learning. I'm never going to stop. You have to be 10 steps ahead of all other companies out there. For us to win, for us to be able to survive right now, if we wasn't 10 steps ahead, we'll be behind. We wouldn't be relevant right now. We wouldn't have other product and business. And that's what education is, applied knowledge. Because anybody could go to school, but you have to take action. That word action, y'all remember that action is what's going to get you to your dreams and goals. And you have to be committed. Most people are not committed. Everybody said, oh, I want to be the biggest rapper in the world. I want to be the biggest star in the world. But they're not committed. And they don't take action. Everybody has 24 hours. I tell people all the time, what you do with your 24 hours? Most people out partying and playing. They called me a country boy, but I was working. And I was taking that knowledge that I, that I had that I went to college to make those deals. I had a great team. And my team was so good that things that I didn't know, they knew. That's how I work. I tell people, you don't have to be the smartest person in the world, but you go get smart people and put them on your team. And that's what good business people do. Find those experts. Find the people that if you're the smartest person in your circle, then you don't need to be in that circle.